Hi guys, welcome to Avotic Channel's new video on Splunk to monitor user activity log. In this video, we will discuss how to track users login or access activity in any organization using Splunk. This video will also present the best practices for cyber security and compliance. To achieve this, we require users activity log which comprises of login and access information. In this case, we are considering LDAP lightweight directory access protocol as an authentication method. Further, this information ingested to Splunk application for analysis and visualization purpose. Finally, we monitored and projected all insights on user activity with powerful visual analytics of Splunk in the form of dashboard, alert, and report. To begin with, let's understand LDAP features. As we see here, LDAP is configured with multiple clients. Windows Clients, Monitoring Tool, Linux Client, Apps. Here are some robust points about LDAP features. It acts as a centralized authentication system and also central database. It will restrict or permit user and user group based on role policy. And many more as listed here. Now we will see how we can leverage Splunk Security Analytics feature upon LDAP logs. We see that in our organization, LDAP connects with DocWiki, SSPuti group of users, Git server, LAMP server as central authentication system. This simultaneously accumulates all data from multiple applications. We onboarded these data from LDAP logs to Splunk tool and after analyzing these data in Splunk, we have created a dashboard to get a track of applications logged in by employees, user ID list, as well as their last login time based on selected time range. We have also customized drill down to see detailed events of application usage. It is very important to have a track of users malicious activity through login that includes unauthorized, failed service account and root access login which, it, which will help us in cyber security. For security and complex case illustration, let's see our organization login activity monitoring using Splunk. Consider a very basic example how to keep track of login info of users. We have a user Abhiraj logged in with his own user ID and did some daily activities. LDAP logged these events in access log. Now using LDAP with Splunk, the dashboard shows the user login details in organization and also it shows if a new user gets added. Now next case is of unauthorized login info. In case of any user does login with service account. We have user Vinayak logged in with Splunk user ID which is a service account. We have not permitted our employees to use service account. It's a breach of organization security and compliance policy. Now using LDAP with Splunk, the dashboard shows the user details with what user ID they access to login and in what login time. Now, next case is of root access login done by a user in organization. In most of the organization, root access is only preferred to be given to admin. As we all know, root access is very critical access. It gives one access to all commands and files. We have a user Mahesh logged in with root user ID here. As it is already mentioned, Mahesh is not an admin. Now using LDAP with Splunk, the dashboard shows the user details who did a root login and users all login details. Now we will see an illustration of failed login attempts made by users by entering incorrect ID or password. With multiple incorrect attempts, user may get temporary blocked or account may get suspended like a brute force attack. Organization need to review these logged accounts frequently so that user can work in an uninterpreted way and malicious user activities can also be monitored. We have a user Vinayak who logged in with Mahesh user account, but he entered a wrong password. Now using LDAP with Splunk, the dashboard shows the user details with failed attempts with respect to number of times as well as user ID. An alert can also be set up on this whenever failed attempts by one user exceed threshold set up by organization and thus user accounts get locked. Immediately an alert will go to the concerned team so that team will unlock account and user will resume its activity without interruption. We have also configured number of alerts to our LDAP logs. 
we have talked about some alerts for account log in earlier slide for demonstration let's take a scenario of service account usage for which a dashboard visualization you have already seen above we have a user abhishek with splunk user id which is a service account now using ldap with splunk the dashboard shows the user details and alert is also configured that will get triggered as per action setup in splunk you can see a mail received in case of using splunk service account by any user here you will also see the list of alerts we have configured for ldap here is a brief glance for all the dashboard panels prepared by us for this ldap use case Guys thanks for watching this video for more such sprung related real world use cases kindly like share and subscribe our avotrix channel and don't forget to press the bell icon